Hey, welcome back everybody. Got another review for you today and I'm super, super excited about this one because this is, uh, I don't wanna say it's something I've wanted for a long time because I didn't even realize these existed for, the, for that long. But um, yeah, being that I've got kind of a smaller operation, it's normally just my wife and I at the track. Um, we're a little intimidated by going back to a modified because it's a bigger car. There's a little bit more heavy stuff to drag around. You know, you're always up on jacks and laying on your back to work on it and stuff. Um, really excited to get this. It's going to make a lot of this stuff a lot easier for us. Um, this is a Burt Air Bumper Jack. So um, this will be a complete unboxing. This is exactly the way I, I received it. I haven't had it out of the box yet. So you guys are kind of along for the ride with me here. Um, yeah, it, it was unstable already to inspect and everything was okay because we had a, a little spot down here where the, the wheel was poking through. But um, I'll tip this up so you guys can see it. Uh, it's kind of packed in foam. Uh, you can just see the, the top of the, the jack there. Uh, it looks like this is the, the control for the air valve. Um, anyway, yeah, I, I've only really seen a couple pictures of these in, in catalogs. I've never seen one in person. Uh, I'm going to guess that, that I speak for the majority of people when I say, say that because I don't know. Oh, this is going to be hard to get out of here. I, I don't know really where you can learn much about them. And, uh, Cut the box off the side of here. But, um, yeah, you know, there's just a little thumbnail picture that you can see in the Speedway catalog, and that's pretty much it. Yeah, there we go. Oh my. Yeah, there you can see this the big air cylinder. Um, it's got it's all aluminum construction, which is really what what had me uh, interested in this the most because it should be pretty lightweight. Wow. Pretty neat so far. I'm kind of excited. So yeah, it's got caster wheels so it can roll around. Seems pretty easy to, to move so far so I'm really looking forward to that. Um, my wife should be able to handle this guy pretty easy, which is, which is a good thing for both of us. <clears throat> yeah, wow, that is fancy. So, let's see if I can figure out how this works. Um, guessing that this is the lift bar. Yeah, I see. So, adjustable on the lift bar. It's got these rubber isolators um, to kind of drive your bumper without scratching it, making sure that's a, a secure connection to your bumper. Um, yeah, caster wheels, everything look pretty pretty solid, so that's that's good. Um, yeah, let me, uh, let me get the car on the ground and uh, we'll hook up an airline and I'll do a, another segment here of this, this video showing how it works and uh, after I figure out and then I'll have probably more intelligent things to say about it than wow look at that. Um, yeah, so I'll be right back here with the next segment. So just real quick I wanted to show how the uh, the outrigger system works on, on our Burt Air Jack. Um, there's this pin. This is pretty nice. The the, uh, the counter pin and, and the pin itself both have tethers on them, so you're not going to lose those pins. Um, they do sit in there a little bit tight. I'm going to guess that will loosen up over time. Um, anyway, there's, there's two different pin holes. The outrigger just simply folds up, and then you put the pin in the other side. So for storage, that's uh, that's a pretty slick setup, and then as well the uh, the bumper. Um, so the rubber mounts here for the bumper, those are adjustable left to right uh, as well so you can, you can set the width of that. So yeah, it makes for a pretty nice uh, compact design for storage or uh, you know, strap it to the wall in your trailer or whatever when you're, you're headed to the track. So pretty nice setup. Um, up next we'll show you guys how it works on the car, uh, lifting it up and getting everything going. So I'm pretty excited to have this. Um, 
you know, I, I, do you need one of these? No, absolutely not. Um, this, is, this is strictly a, a piece of convenience and, and nothing more. And you know, do you need the fancy aluminum Burt one? No, I don't think so either. I know there's a lot of steel um, versions of this out there that probably work just as well. I'm gonna guess just because I see a lot of the, the modified teams when I go to the track have uh, have the steel versions of these, and uh, they seem to work just fine for them as well. So I don't want I mean it to be misleading and make it sound like uh, the Burt one is the must-have, or um, you know that we're in the business of trying to keep up with the Joneses and have the, the coolest equipment. So that's definitely not the case. So uh, pretty happy so far. Let's see how it works in the car. Alright everybody, we're here, uh, we got the modified on the ground to uh, test out the, the Burt Air Jack. Um, you'll notice I've also got it positioned right now on a, uh, a scale pad. Uh, I figured that'd be some, some useful information for everybody to see uh, just how much it really does weigh. And uh, according to our scales, we're at 72 pounds. So, I mean, it is all mostly aluminum, the, the base frame is steel. Uh, I'm guessing the cylinder is also steel on the outside it is aluminum or sorry steel on the inside it is aluminum on the outside um yeah it, it's 72 pounds i mean it might kind of sound like a lot but i can pretty easily pick it up to move it off the scale panel put the wire there um but yeah once it's on the ground and you, you kick it up on the casters it it rolls pretty easy uh, especially on our concrete floor here so um i still think it'd be pretty manageable uh at the racetrack for even uh, my wife and you know, even like my nephews or, or some of uh, the smaller guys that, that might work with us. So <clears throat> definitely looking forward to, uh, to getting to use this and track. But I'll show you guys how it works. Um, <laughs> coincidentally, I found this a little bit funny that there's a huge warning label on the back of it. It's, Do not use this until you read the instructions and fully understand. Uh, yeah, there were no instructions in the box. So um, I don't know if those got lost when uh, it was on this truck to uh, to us for Motor State or what was going on there, but um, just to be on the safe side, I turned the regulator down on, on my compressor to 75 psi. Uh, I, you know, read in the catalog where it said it'll work down to 50 psi, so I uh, figured that was safe. And then, uh, yeah, probably at, at 100 psi, this is gonna work a lot faster. But uh, for demonstration purposes and stay on the safe side, I, I tapered it down a little bit there. So. Um, got the outriggers down. There's a pin that holds the outrigger up for the storage position. You move that pin down to here to, to hold the, the outriggers down. There's also a safety. You'll see once it's up and engaged, uh, to drop it down, the safety will engage and hold it uh, kind of on the mechanical safety instead of using the, the air piston to, to hold it up. So anyway, hose is attached. Here we go. There's move the lever up to the and fill the cylinder and raise it up. And uh, so you can see it struggles a little bit. I think that's probably due to our, our light air pressure, but she gets up there pretty high pretty quick. So uh, you'll notice that our safety is not engaged, so I'll, I'll lower this down. The safety engages. completely locked in and up. Um, at this point I would put jack stands underneath it uh, and do what we gotta do if we're gonna climb underneath it or you know you can change tires pretty quick. So uh, as you can see it gets her up pretty high. Uh, I'm pretty excited about that. That makes it really nice to be able to get in underneath there and work on it with uh, the right jack stands and everything. So pretty cool deal. So to disengage the safety you'll have to raise it back up, disengage the safety. Pretty cool, it's just that simple. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with this. The, the fit and finish and everything is, is really good. Uh, you know, other than that little hiccup, which like I said, might have been because we had a torn box and we had to take it, tear up from the box and expect it to accidentally pull the instructions out then. But um, all I really had to do to get going was screw in a fitting for, for my air hoses here in the shop. And uh, yeah, away we went. So pretty cool setup. Uh, I'm really excited to get get to use this this year, both around the shop and at the track. So, 
Uh, yeah, Bert Airjack is a definite thumbs up in my book so far. So, thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and uh, like us on Facebook. And if you got any questions, ask them in the comments below or hit us up on our Facebook page, uh, the Big City Bullet Gavin Hunyadi on Facebook. So, thanks, guys.